All right, so looks like a couple of you have at least watched it, gotten to some point where you're either done with it or still playing with it. So I want to get mine done, make sure that Manuel has time to show his module. So this is the um, external module called Analytics. And I really had no idea what it exactly was until we had to create something for this session. And then once I read about it a little bit, uh, I found that this would be perfect for a, a project that I may have mentioned before, um, but it specifically has value, I think, if you're doing a kind of project where you're sending out a video and you'd be interested in knowing if somebody actually watched the video. So in my example, the project that I've been working with this person on, um, it's like, let's say safety training or skill training or whatever. It's some kind of training video. And it's important to know that they watched the whole video as best you can. I mean, it's not like you're in the room with them. Uh, so you want to try to find some way of thinking, well, did they watch the whole video or are they just like blown me off and they answered a couple questions, but they never really watched the, the video. And it's important that they watch the video because it's safety training or skill training or something like that. So I created the little survey here. Whoop. And so basically, you know, it, it will run, asks you if you watch the whole video, and there's really only a few fields because I didn't want to overwhelm you with uh, what this looks like. And for those of you that didn't get the link, um, it looks just like this. Okay, I just asked them to watch the video, um, put in their initials. I, I did the initials for this. Uh, because it's just this, I knew it was a small group. If you were doing it normally, you'd want like their email address, um, some identifier so you know who was actually completing this or whatever. And then you ask the question, you get the comment. So the question becomes, uh, did somebody actually watch the video? So once you enable that external module of analytics, it creates a link in your external modules area for analytics. And if you click on it, all of a sudden you see all of this uh, information here. And you can see, for example, that uh, record ID 10. OK, so they entered some comments. Uh, they started, um, oh, they clicked on the watched, watch video and, uh, they completed the survey, but notice for number 10, one of the options should be video started and video ended. Um, and there's none of that. So if we look, um, let me expand this a little bit and we'll see if they, because this could, this could go on a little bit. See, look at um, number 11. They're playing the video. Uh, the video ended and you can see how long it took for a, a person 11 to watch the video which this is the whole video. So you can tell that they watched the whole thing. You can see that they paused at a certain time. Um, they played it and they paused it. 
all these different metrics that you get out of this um, to ensure that somebody actually watched the video or not. So um, I'm guessing that on somewhere here we'll see number 12. Uh, video played. Okay, so video played here for number 12. And normally everything would be together because you probably wouldn't have so many people doing this at the same time. But uh, then up here, number 12, video ended, and you can see they watched the whole thing. And then they changed the field that they watched the video, and then they marked it as complete. So if I look at uh, record 12, and I meant to just put the initials on here, but oh, so that was Carol. So she watched the whole thing, and that's you know how I know. <clears throat> I won't show anybody's comments or whatever, but oh, I I don't think you did comments because but you marked that you watched it. And, you know, I could see all that information on those metrics. So this is a module that's sort of in its early stages. If we look at it again, um, you can see that <clears throat> you can also include logs from other modules. Now, uh, it, it is like they say at the top, suggestions are welcome and they will likely expand the reporting capability. I would like to see filtering capability on the records, which I don't see um, at the moment, but you can export it out as a CSV and then you can do your filtering in, in your stats program or Excel or whatever. So that option is there. Other than for videos, and if we look just really quickly at the uh, documentation for the module, you can see that um, there are basic event um, logging, like when the page was loaded, when a field was changed, and when the survey was completed. Now, some of this, if we uh, look at the record status dashboard and we open a record. Um, you get some of that already when it was completed, but you don't see when it starts. Uh, so there are some metrics that you can get, and then you always have your logging um, link where you can see some of this and look at the date stamps on those. However, I'm just saying that uh, if you're looking for logs, then you might be better off using the logging tool that comes along with RedCap. But otherwise, if you needed to get some more metrics, you might look at the analytics module, and especially if you're using some kind of video. So there you go. That's the analytics module. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm going to stop sharing and let Manuel take over.